the taller of the two fighters. Both fighters start fast. Oh, this ain't going to last very long. Both of these fellas have the type of determination that it takes to be champion, and of course, Spinks has already been champion. Ricardo wants his shot at the title now. And when you see heavyweights start this fast, it can end this fast, too. No real telling blow has been landed as yet. Mercado seems to be showing, throwing straighter punches. He's getting a good jab in there, and Spinks is coming right past it with his hooks. Spinks is a great brawler, as you know. What a war this is started off This is a real war. These guys are really getting that for the kill. He's calling for that left. Spanish. Looks like left. he's in very good, good position, left. too. Determination from Leon Spinks, eh? As he walks into a right hand. From Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's the end of round number one. This is the early going in round one. Now watch uh, Spinks. They seem to have picked up a page out of Watkins and Mamby. They're <laughs> all action, and for a couple of heavyweights, that looks like a it ain't going to go very far. No, it, it, I don't think it's. I don't think it's going to go to distance. All right, here we go, round two. Leon Spinks actually landed more punches in round number one. Neither fighter was down. Good heavy shot there by Mercado.
punch it effectively. So far, he hasn't done much in this round. Maybe he's waiting for Leon to wear out. I think, I think that's what he's trying to do is with his heat, he figured that he'd wear out in a few rounds. Yeah. Oh, he let Leon go while he is strong. Forget, don't forget one thing about Leon thinks as he gets going, he builds up uh, extra adrenaline. He did it in the first Sally fight, and he certainly to uh, uh, tried to do it again in the second fight. And he lost the title. He was still swinging at the end. Leon always come to fight. When you get Leon, you know you're going to have a good fight. Well, that, regardless of how he come out, he's going to carry and push the action. taking that time. Great flurry there. From Caesar Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's the end of round number two. Leon is crowded, staying right on top of him. He ain't giving him no chance to get that long leverage. Commercial. <laughs> <laughs> So we're waiting for round number three to get underway here. The World Super Lightweight Championship. Bob Sheridan, Chris Christopherson, and Don King here with our comments on this elimination fight that will lead to a shot at the title. Featuring Leon Spinks in the black trunks, Bernardo Mercado in the white trunks. Mercado goes the aggressor now. Yeah, you had to give that second round to Spinks because he did just about all the action. It seemed like to me. Mercado has to stand out and address it, get the leverage. He's big and tall, he want to get the leverage of his blows as long as Leon crowd him like he is. is, is. Leon ain't going to give him any room, it looks like. That, that well, let's say it's going to be his, inside his Chris, you picked up a good point because he had to use that for a fight plan where he's given away uh, an inch or two in reach there, he's given away a couple inches in height, and uh, he's got to stay inside the bigger of the two heavyweights. But Mercado's almost doing a rope a there, you know. If he's doing this intentionally, uh, I don't understand it because we both, uh, we all mentioned that the fact that uh, certainly speaks of the type of fellow that just builds adrenaline as he continues to fight. The more he gets hit, the more vicious he becomes. Side and his kidneys. He's got to be a 
pitcher got to fight from long distance. If he can stay long distance, he might can then uh, do something, get some effective shots. But if Leon has to stay on top of him in order for him to keep going like he's going. And you can see there, what, while Dom was talking, too, that Mercado was doing exactly that, staying away, and, and that's what he's got to do. I'm sure his corner said something because he's fighting a different style right now. Hello. Leon's going Thanks. to chase him. Exactly. Tight with Spinks just gets in trouble. He's got to get off him. This leaning on him and that stuff. Yeah, he's trying to use his weight now, you know. It's not going to work. Spinks time being out. It, it'll never work. Spinks seemed to have an awful lot more power. He just goes by some of the, uh, the punches. Tremendous power. Every fight I see Spinks fight, it amazes me because if this young man would condition himself, he has such great talent, and his courage and, and the tenacity is, is unprecedented. He sure has the, the uh, like you say, the tenacity in the heart. He'll beat him any way he can. Any way, he don't care how it is. Whatever means necessary, that's what Leon goes in there to do. Look at that. <laughs> He copped his right hand like he hit the home run with it. What's happening there is a bit of roughhouse tactics. Uh, Bernardo hanging on and then Spinks pushes him back. Now, it's sort of like Leon. a pier six brawl. That's it, exactly. You get that idea anytime Leon's around, Don. Mercado's trying to wear him out by making him carry that 219 around on his shoulders. the case there. All right, to this point in the fight, uh, we're in round number five. Bob Sheridan along with Don King and Chris Christopherson. The principals in the ring, Bernardo Mercado, the 219-pounder in the white trunks, 26 and 2 with 22 knockouts. Taking on the former WBA heavyweight champion, Leon Spinks, 9-2-2 two two with seven knockouts. At this point, it's Spinks building up points. This is scheduled for 12 rounds, and it's an important fight because it's a sanctioned heavyweight elimination fight which will lead to a title shot. So a bit of rough out tactics in round four, and it's continuing a bit here in round five. You'd have had five rounds in this fight after the first one. Yeah, that's right. I think both fellas came here in the heat uh, trying to get it over as quick as possible. Mercado is using his body much more effective now. He's leaning on Leon, making him carry him 219 pounds. And Leon is fighting at a distance, which is going to be very dangerous for him. I noticed that at the beginning round. He's trying to slip the punches. Used to bear down all the time, coming in on the cardo. Incidentally, Bernardo won all three of his fights this year, gained the number one ranking by a knockout over Ernie Shavers. He also beat Tom the Bomb Prater. So he deserves his number one ranking. Tremendous strength shown again by Leon Spinks there. Spinks doesn't seem to have any respect at all for Mercado. He just waltzes in and does what he can do. If he has to take a shot, he takes it. There's a really good right hand there. 
big suggestion fighter because Mercado tagged him real good ones at, at the beginning of the round, and in the first round, he got him some good straight shots. This comes right back. He's just a real fan. He's going to fight to whatever happens. Somebody got the ball, or the fight got to be stopped. I can't believe we have this many good fights on one night. Referee Bert Hernandez separates the two as they continue to be a bit rough on each other. Mercado getting a bit puppy around the eyes. Mercado also seems to be putting on a little more action. He was throwing some bunch of his face. Oh, right hand. Leon is responding. He's getting hit with some good shots from Mercado, but he's coming right back. That has to frustrate a fighter when uh, his shots don't take any toll. Oh, Leon's so tough. Again, you see that shot that just spun the head around of the former champion, Leon Spinks, but it did no damage to him. It has to be frustrating for Bernard Mercado. Two minutes in the round. This was scheduled for 12. We're in round six. Again, we're outdoors, a new sports stadium here at Caesars Palace, constructed especially for this big night of boxing. One way to get a guy to quit throwing punches at you. The fuse is ignited every time he's hit, Chris. and heavyweights, but to this point, it's taken no toll on either. Well, I won't say it hasn't taken any on Mercado, but it hasn't taken much toll on Lee Hunt's thing. Yeah, he has just it. stopped throwing him. That uh, series of punches with a couple of good scoring ones. Boy, I, if he's waiting to tire out, I think he's really getting discouraged. Yes, he is. He's waiting on Leon to get tired, but Leon is getting stronger and stronger. What a fight. And, and Mercado is throwing some nice shots out there, but Leon is responding and retaliating with well, flurries. Mercado seemed to, this, I thought this was going to be his best round. He threw the most punches. Okay. Here we go, round number seven. Seemingly no, taking no punches to the head whatsoever of any consequence. We're in round seven. Neither fighter has been really shaken. Neither fighter has been down. Mercado walks into another right hand. Mercado certainly seems to be the more fatigued of the two at this stage. Could be that extra 15 pounds he's carrying around. Leon ain't getting 
given him many rest. Maybe catch his breath for a second and then right back at it again. Well, Seems like Leon put all his weight in there on the punches. Yes, he, he takes him in, he uses his leverage in his body. But if he let Leon can't afford to let him get that leverage. Yeah. the number one WBC contender for the title. The winner of this a sanctioned elimination bout, 12 rounds, will get a shot at the heavyweight championship currently held by Larry Holmes and on the line tonight against Muhammad Ali. Leon's scoring some heavy blows now. Yes, he is. two middleweights out there as far as determination and punching is concerned you get some kind of battle on it really says something too because Leon is so much smaller than uh, Bernardo McConnell but it shows that the man is really taking it to him uh, the great thing about Sphinx is he's making Mercado fight his fight. In other words, uh, Sphinx is, is, is just control the fight from really, except for that opening flurry that Mercado had all the way. We almost had Mercado in a lap there. That'd be a lap full. Leon looks good. He's he certainly it. does. He's doubling up on his right hand, punching good to the body, going to the head, throwing Chris jab, and the hooks is devastating. A man gets a taste of the heavyweight title and the notoriety ring. You can see it puts determination in him because once you've had a taste of it, you don't want to lose it. Yes, he's no, he's no, lost it and he wants it back, Don. Yes, he does, Bob. The one thing you have to be careful of is the long distance punches because Bacato is a heavy hitter and any punch could take him out. So you've got two big men in the ring. Anything can happen. I got a feeling old Leon would be fighting if it was just on the street corner. He'd be fighting this as hard. He's a uh, killer. So Mercado scares me with some of those straight punches. I'd be glad to see it. All right, but here we go. He's got to be careful, like you say, if he stays outside with Mercado. Mercado's got a stout straight punch here. Here we go, round number nine. Crisply, you know, but he, he, he throws them little short punches, but, but Leon comes back on him. Yeah. I think it's kind of confusing, Bernardo, because he looks for people to fall when he hit him. Now, he, now they're tussling, trying to show their strength, you know. It looks to me like it's so hard when Leon has to force him away. Because he's so much better. 
Again, there were many people as we're in round nine. It never thought that this 12 round heavyweight elimination would last perhaps past the second, third, or fourth round. Started out that way. Spinks is building up points. He continues to build them up. But neither fighter has been off his feet. He never lets the pressure off. This is the best round for Mercado uh, since the first round. I think uh, referee did a hell of a job stepping in there after looking in his eyes because uh, Bernardo was out. Well, you can see right there at this point, Mercado is, is really defenseless. And right yeah. here, I think the referee spots it in his eyes, especially after that last shot, yeah. because he didn't hesitate a bit. He went right in there yep. and stopped it. And you now can, you can still see the fighter is 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 out of it. That's it. That's the shot that you couldn't see we, uh, uh, without the slow mo. Uh, it uh, we, we stayed on uh, the champion, uh, rather the former champion Leon Spinks at that time. But uh, Mercado was just kind of like in I guess you suspended animation is the term they use. He was just there with his eyes glassed. He was definitely out on his 